six whole quarts of the 8100 5W30. Throw it on there where you have the new seal and the old seal, you're gonna leak oil. Today we're doing a much needed, I haven't changed the oil on the Focus since I got it, and it's been a minute. It's time to do that, and we're gonna learn how to do it on the way. If you guys have a Focus ST, or you have a Ford Focus Fiesta, I'm sure it's all relatively the same, but just so you guys know, today we're using the highest grade oil everyone talks about. Um, but real quick, tools we need, black gloves, some pliers to get the, fuel, the oil filter off. We got our 15 millimeter socket with our wrench, we got some towels, uh, we can stay clean. So here's the big, here's the good part. Panda Motorworks, link in description to this kit, has a full maintenance kit. Now this is spark plugs, transmission fluid, oil, and oil filter. This is the move right here. So we got our black ice uh, air fresheners, and then we got our recommended Ford Motorcraft oil filter, major key. We got our four spark plugs that are pre-gapped for the Ford Focus ST and Fiesta ST. They're a step holder. We have our multi DCTF Motul transmission fluid, dual clutch. Um, but obviously this isn't a dual clutch, but it's the same stuff, good stuff. We got two bottles of that. But we aren't messing with spark plugs or the transmission fluid today. We're doing that for the next video. Six whole quarts of the 8100 5W30 recommended this car takes six quarts most four cylinder turbos take six quarts not five so you got to end up buying an extra one if you buy a five quart jug you got to need an extra one but the motul comes with only one quart at a time so huge shout out to panda motorworks don't forget link in the description if you just want to do a full maintenance job this car is 50,000 miles on it so i need to do everything here we're going to get to soon so appreciate them and uh get into the easy process of changing the oil Jacking the car up safely. I have a little tab here at the top right corner of a little info card. If you've never jacked up your car, I have a video on the second channel. Pop the hood, check out the oil cap, pull it off, go ahead and set our tools on the floor. Go ahead and grab our 15 millimeter and loosen the um, drain plug and then whip, pull it out. It took some practice. I was always very messy before. I've gotten better over the years. Go ahead and grab our pliers, the biggest setting. Grab a hold of that filter. It's okay to damage it because you're getting rid of it to loosen it. Now you see this rubber seal right here on the edge. You want to make sure that came off the old one. It's super duper important because if you throw it on there where you have the new seal and the old seal, you're going to leak oil. Um, learn from experience, sadly. Okay, now we're going to grab some oil on our finger, rub it around the seal to make sure it gets a good fit. Good to go. Go ahead and slide it up there. We're going to get as tight as possible with our hands. No more than that. It's totally fine. We're going to put our drain plug back in, snug it up. And uh, this is what it looks like. Oops, looks like we uh, dripped a little oil. We're gonna wipe it off so we can check for uh, leakage later. And then we're gonna put it back down, get it flat. We're gonna pull up our oil right now. Go ahead and pull this guy out. Very satisfying process with those bottles from Motul. And uh, we're gonna pull them all out right now and pour them in. Go ahead and check our oil with our dipstick after idling for a while. Good to go. All six quarts are in. Let's check for leakage with their idling after like probably five, ten minutes. Final check. Good to go. And then I would check the oil the next day at the gas station. Changing your oil isn't as hard as you think. Some of you guys may have never worked on your car. I highly recommend doing this first. A couple things to look out for. Make sure you don't over tighten the bolt on the oil pan. Make sure you put the cap back on the top of the engine. Make sure you remove the cap before you drain it so then you can get some air through the top and you get all the oil out. Take your time, don't rush it. The under tray is just a bunch of bolts and little clips and things like that. Super simple, I have a helpful link of tools in the description as well as this oil and the maintenance package from Panda Motorworks is this guy right here, the 8100 series is the good stuff for these cars. They really like it. It's a 5W30. Motul is the move and they even have little you know details like this having the little uh, neck on it So they don't even need a funnel awesome stuff They go into the details not even in a better quality oil, but down to the bottle So shout out to these guys for making an awesome product that I am very new to and everyone told me to run this for a long time And now I understand why they do look into the details So I'm really excited about it make sure you hit the playlist on the screen right now for all the series for all the parts of the series for the focus ST build